feet. And oh my gosh, Eddie. What? Can I say somebody's calling in? No. Are you going to do it? <laughs> Am I going to do it? All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to On Air with Tony Sweet with co-host Eddie Connor, the amazing author of The Survival of the Soul and international acclaimed medium and clairvoyant. She is the Elvis Presley of the medium <laughs> world. I am saying this is Miss Lisa Williams. Woo! <laughs> Hi, Lisa. This is Tony Sweet. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I am wonderful. Okay. Okay. Normally the host. <laughs> I'm the host and get, uh, Eddie is uh, my guest co-host. Eddie's also a uh, psychic and clairvoyant and all this stuff, but I'm going to let Eddie, because I'm a fan, but Eddie is like a super fan, super fan. So I'm going to let him, <laughs> I'm going to, oh my God, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he, he's sitting here fanning him. Don't pass out, Eddie. Please don't pass out. I know. My face is red and I, I wore my sports bra. I'm terrified. <laughs> Uh, but I'm so excited. I love it. So I'm going to let Eddie do the honors to asking the first question. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Okay. My no very, pressure. The very first question is, and this is some, I, I, I like people who have a great sense of humor. And I know from seeing you many times live with audiences, you have a tremendous sense of humor. And so my question for you, the first question, I'm so nervous to get my hands are shaking. He is oh, shaking. Oh my God, you're so excited. <laughs> He's shaking. So my question for you is, what is the funniest thing that has ever happened to you live in an auditorium filled with people, Lisa? Oh my God, can I, how, how, how can I, I don't know, how much do you want to know? Do you want to know everything? Yes, I want to know everything. <laughs> no secrets here, Lisa, no secrets here. Okay, all right, here we go. Um, I've never, ever, ever said this, all right? So, Eddie, just because you asked that question, you're an Uber fan, all right, I'm going to tell you one of these secrets. Okay. Um, I had a lady that came through who was incontinent. Oh. When she passed away. And it was so funny that she made me feel like I needed to go to the bathroom, and I kind of <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So, <laughs> so that that's my little dirty secret, actually. No, I mean, there's so many things. I mean, I've had it where, oh my god, I've had it where this guy was, and this guy in spirit was naked by the side of me, oh. and I'm like, hello, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and his wife said he he was just a naturalist and and <laughs> he he would walk around the house naked and. And and then he started to show me certain sex things that they would do. And this was in the big audience of 3,000 people. I'm like, hello. <laughs> um, so, and then I've had one lady where um, her husband came through and said, I mean, I don't know how X-rated you want to go. Go so, for it. Um, <laughs> I had this lady that also, um, her husband had passed away. Her husband came through and he said, she's wearing the, last, the same underwear that we last had sex. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> So, yeah, oh. I, I get all sorts, so trust me. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And so, okay, my thing is I've been watching clips after clips after clips after clips of you. And, I mean, you're, you know, author and radio and television and international superstar. Superstar! <laughs> and, and, but one thing, like said, Eddie said, you bring a lot of humor, but also you really touch me. Every single time I about walk away with tears in my eyes. I, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I, at the end of the day, I just do what I do. I don't I don't see it as anything major or or whatever, but I just do what I do. And so thank you. I appreciate that. So tell us uh, tell us about your your latest book, The Survival of the Soul, which is a very different kind of book from your very first book. I know it's very very different. I wanted something to be a little bit different. Um, I, you know, sometimes it's great to have, a, you know, it's great to um, have a book about your life and everything else. Aren't really? Does everybody want to know that? So I basically, <laughs> you know, I basically um, went ahead and I thought, what do people want to know? And the one question I get asked all the time is, do you, you know, what happens when we die? Yep. And I thought, okay, well, here's my book. And so that's why I, start, I, I wrote that book, because it was so important for a lot of people to 
understand what happens to us when we die because um you know we're all going to do it it's all going to happen mm-hmm. and we we you know we want to know and so that's that's the reason why i i wrote the book in the way that i did um and and it was great and i love it and i think it's a fabulous book i'm very very pleased with it, it it's um a, yeah. i really am but it's it's just it just you know, it's it's just very different, and I think it ha- it's helped a lot of people understand what's going on in in life. Well, I, what I found very fascinating, and again, it shows your bravery tenfold. Is you were well into the manuscript of an entirely different book, and then this new theme came to you, so you sort of trashed all of that and you started from scratch. And that's when you were introduced to some brand new guides and spirit teachers, right? Absolutely, I did. I trashed the whole book. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm now I am in Australia thinking, oh yeah, this is a great book, la la. And then I just went, no, let's just change it. And I did. I completely scrapped it. And I have to say, I think it was the best thing I ever did. Um, and it was, it's incredible. And I, I was introduced to some new guides. I was introduced to um, Ariel and Josiah. And it was like really, really mind-blowing actually quite mind-blowing into the fact that oh my gosh there is more to life than what we know and I was just like blown away with what was coming about so I was really pleased I was really really pleased with what what was happening well I'm also a big fan of Jane Roberts and of course Jerry and Esther Hicks and Abraham Hicks Uh and I it had that complete automatic writing feel to it that trance channeled that deep 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 um, I, deep is not even a big enough word for where you go with this book, and it's and again, it's brave. So I love it. I, and, and now, when people ask me certain questions, I get to like, you go by Survival of the Soul. Here you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you got your oh, walking you billboard. Pretty, honestly, yeah, <laughs> thank you. And I feel very, um, I, I feel very blessed about that book. I feel very honored. You know, it's such a, a great. You know, I just feel very pleased with the way that it's kind of come about um so thank you i appreciate that you're welcome well lisa i uh, this is tony and my my thing is uh, you know getting getting to know eddie i got to really know a lot more about the metaphysical oh, yeah. yeah world uh, before you know you just saw what you saw on television you know psychic line or something like that mm-hmm. but but when 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 i hear you writing this book and you can read everybody else when you're writing this book and you find out things about yourself or uh, about, you know, uh, finding new guides, does it still surprise you that, you know, all this stuff doesn't like just come all at once? Uh, you know, Lisa knows everything. But, you know, when you when you get to learn about yourself and, and new guides as you move along, does it still surprise you? It does, because to be honest with you, I don't know everything, and God, I wish I did. Wouldn't you want to <laughs> right? It? You know, I wouldn't have the problems that I have, but, um, you know, it, it is an amazing thing, and that's what a lot of people say, oh, you know, and in fact, it's funny, because Charlie, my son, he'll say to me, Mom, what's the capital of, I don't know, some way out country, and I'm like, I don't know, he's like, well, hold on. You're supposed to be psychic, so you should know everything. Uh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, don't do this to me. So Google became my best friend at that point. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I was like, hold on, I kn- but I don't, but I know it. I know someone who does. And so, yeah, Google became my best friend. <laughs> okay. Let, um, let me ask but, you. But, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, but, you know, it's true. A lot of people do think that you know everything. And actually, you don't. You really don't. And uh, it's about realizing that you don't know everything and also i think this is where a lot of people have um an ego with what i do um you know Mm -hmm. those people who actually do it you know some people do have an ego because they do think well i know everything i'm i'm spiritually elite and blah 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 well we're not you know (laughs) we are who we are and and that's it and uh, a lot of people um, you know, a lot of other people just think that they're above themselves. Well, to be honest with you, we're all still people and we all have to get along. So that's how I look at it. Isn't it just a gift that's more in tune than others? I mean, because everybody has that gift. It's just we don't know how to, you know, express it or go to that place where where we're open enough to accept it. Totally, totally. And, you know, it's, it's you know, we all have this ability. Um, you know... 
I always say that it's like it's like a singer. We all have this ability. However, not everyone can be the Celine Dion's of the world. Okay, let's <laughs> oh, it. Even though I love her. Right. Wouldn't it be great? You know, <laughs> right. Some of us should just keep our singing in the shower. Hey, you know? man. <laughs> because e- Eddie, go for sing. it. <laughs> but then there's others who really should um, have a maybe, you know, great, can hold a tune, good karaoke singers. <laughs> then there's those karaoke singers that with a little bit of training can go on and be the Celine Dion's of the world. Exactly. And so I always liken that to our psychic awareness. We've all got the ability some of us can only develop so far and then there are others that can develop way ahead of other people so that's what i always say and i think it's it's a great analogy okay here and i have a i have a question for you because you 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 know give a lot of readings to other people and guidance Mm -hmm. who who do you go to well i don't go to anybody now i mean um Actually, that's a lie, complete lie. I had a reading about 18 months ago, um, and I just get drawn to certain people. Uh, You know, I meet many mediums and and clairvoyants and psychics, and I just get drawn to people. Um, I tend to ask my guides a lot of things, so I'll be really connected with my guides. But um, I don't really have that many people I go to. There's a lady that I trained in the UK that I go to um, now. Hmm. Um, and or I used to so much, and maybe when I, you know, when I go back to the UK, I might sort of grab another reading from her. But <laughs> other than that, yeah, I don't tend to go to anybody. Wow. Well, I have a question for you. Um, now, um, I, I know you meet hundreds and thousands of people all the time, but my best friends are Mike and Ramona. And we got a chance to meet you over at the Barnes and Noble at the Grove, and then we followed you around like little <laughs> Uber fans. Um, oh, bless you, but, <laughs> stalker! But we just <laughs> we had just come back from Peru. I I did a tour to Peru, and then we we carried your first book up to Peru. And we were standing on the top of Machu Picchu. We were holding your book. And people were like, whose book is that? What are you doing? Why are you holding it on the top of Machu Picchu? And, uh, oh, my God. So now, I, I remember that. I remember. I remember Ramona. Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I do. I remember. And you sent me a picture. Oh, my God. You do. Wow. Yes. Oh my That's God, a great memory. <laughs> uh, but, and so my question was going to be, how much did you love Peru? I hated it. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> You're waiting for I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I never wanted to go. Uh-huh. Um, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I, you know, <laughs> okay. It was okay. It was okay. But there were some things about it that I just didn't like. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. It was just really, really weird. The energy was so funny. It was just odd. Um, and it was funny because I said to Holly, I don't want to come back here. If I, uh, if I come back here, it's, it's going to be too soon. Mm. Um, <laughs> but the amazing thing was we had some great people that we took to Peru with us. Uh-huh. And it was, I mean, it was, it was fantastic. And what the work that we did with these people was amazing. But for me, I've done it. I've been there, seen it, done it. I even have the T-shirt. I have the hat. I have the jumper. I have the uh, alpaca, whatever. I'm done. Oh, my God. So did you did you find that the actual spot on Machu Picchu was it? It's just, I mean, it's activated so, it is, oh it is weird energy. And, it, yes. and I noticed right away that people who were not in a very good space, they had a terrible time. I'm not saying you did because I know you did not. But mm-hmm. people who were more in tune, you, it's like, if you're uber psychic, but someone like you up there, didn't you find that it just kind of blows the psychic doors and windows off your house? Yes, it yeah. did. And I, you know, I really, I really enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed it. And we had a great time, but I did find it was a little bit too much. Yeah, I found yeah. it was just a little <laughs> bit too much, um, just a little bit on the overwhelming side and we went back and we I think we did Machu Picchu three days three times yeah and it was it was a lot it was like oh my gosh yeah it really is it brings up everybody's stuff yes and it did and it brought up a lot of stuff with me and it was good it was a really really good thing 
Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd, I must admit, I'd had enough by the time it was time to come home. <laughs> I was like, get me on that plane and get a drink in my hand. Well, I love that. I just want to say, you were on the Oprah Winfrey show a few years ago. Who's Oprah? I don't know. The, the Oprah show Winfrey show. And, and the show was an interesting show, but I have to be perfectly honest. I wanted to jump through the TV screen and jerk a knot in that woman's ass that you were doing the reading for. Oh my God, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I didn't see it. What Lisa happened? was hitting the nail on the head very consistently with this woman, and she would not have anything to do with it. And really? Oprah, Oprah, even after that interview, said, you know, she hit this, and Lisa said this, and Lisa said that, and the woman said, coincidence, coincidence. I, I was screaming in my living room, and I can scream, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so how how do you handle stuff like that? Do you just kind of <laughs> – she got – she thought that was <laughs> – I love my Eddie. Uh, so w- when people say that, do you just kind of knock it off with a grain of salt? Because I'm, I'm sure you get that all the time, the skeptics. Yeah, you know, I do. I, I do. And at the end of the day, my dad's a skeptic. I mean, come on, my dad's a skeptic. <laughs> really? You know, and I'm like, oh, God, get it, give it up. Um, <laughs> I, am, I am so used to it. It gets to a point where I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, but actually, that woman that you were talking about, her name was Laura. And the funny thing was, is I remember getting there, and I, 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 I think I'd done three readings that day, and she was the last one. And I sat in this dressing room and I turned to my publicist from Lifetime and my makeup artist and I went, I'm going to have the most skeptical person next and her father's passed over. Oh. And they went, well, you would know. And they, they, kind, they kind of got used to this. And so, of course, I sat down and I said, you know, I started giving her a reading. And the funny thing was, is I said, your father's ballroom dancing. He's giving, he, it's almost like he wants to dance with you. Or no, he never dances with me. No, he wants to dance. There's something about this dancing. No, never dance with me. Never dance with me. And because I said that one comment, she held on to it. Yes. I said, did your father ballroom dance? She went, well, he was a ballroom dancing champion, but he, he never danced with me. Oh. And I went, and that was the point where I said, you're being far too skeptical. You either want to hear from your dad or you don't. But at the moment, I'm going. And I got up and started to walk away. She turned to the producer and said, am I being too skeptical? Oh, and, wow. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm being set up here. And I was like, I'm sure John Edward wasn't set up this way. Um, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. Um, but it was a good show. It, it was it was worthwhile doing. Well, you handled it beautifully. I swear I would have self-combusted right there. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it. Yeah. I felt like it. <laughs> well, well, we're all excited because you're going to be here in Los Angeles this I coming know. in just a week from this weekend. And Eddie, tell yeah. us tell us where she's going to be. She's going to be over here at the Los Angeles Conscious Life Expo. That's at the LAX Hilton, February the 10th, 11th, and 12th. And you're going to be doing a seminar on Sunday at 2 p.m. And that's called Voices from the Other Side. And, and and then again on Sunday at four p at four p.m. Oh, I see it's back to back. So Sunday two p.m. for at three thirty p.m. Uh, the La Jolla Ballroom, and then the same day two hours later at five thirty p.m. the same ballroom. And listen, if you've never been to see Lisa live, I promise you, you're going to laugh your butt off. You're going to you're going to laugh and you're going to have tears. I call her the steel magnolias of the mediumship world because one minute you're laughing and the next minute you're blubbering. You can't help it. I mean, you affect Aww. people that way. She's the real deal, man. And, th- and then also, you you have a, your own Block Talk Radio show. Um, I do. Wednesdays at three yeah. p.m. Pacific time, and uh, on your on your radio show, what do you what do you usually um, kind of consist of your content? You know, it's everything. I try to cover a multitude of stuff. Um, I think, you know, this week we're we're talking about meditation. Last week we were talking about spirit guides. I talk about children who have got the ability. Then, of course, I do mediumship readings. I do psychic stuff. I have have guests on. Um, So it just depends on what takes my fancy, really. Um, But I've I've done, I've tried to cover a lot of um, spiritual, um, a lot of spiritual stuff that people want to know about people want to know about dreams we've got someone coming on about dreams soon and <gasps> and and think and auras and and chakras and healing so i try to cover as much as i can um but you know and it's a lot of fun i always love my show and hey, lisa have you ever met cynthia richmond 
I haven't, no. She is a dream interpreter. She is phenomenal. She has a few really? books. Really? You would love Cynthia. And she would love you, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. She, Have she, fun. She, yeah, she's literally the country's leading dream expert and behavioral therapist. She will blow you out of the water. She's phenomenal. But we know something that does take your fancy, Lisa. Okay, go uh, on. Uh-oh, then. uh-oh. It's a cruise with you to discover Alaska on August uh, the 5th through the 12th. I want to go. <laughs> you will love it. You will love it. <laughs> Lisa, can I stay with you? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm telling you. <laughs> wow, that sounds wait. nice. I cannot wait. Have you not been? I've never been to Alaska. Oh, never. You're you're gonna and love I am it. so excited to go. So beautiful. It's ridiculous. You're gonna you're yeah. gonna be in heaven. Mike and Ramona and I and we took a whole group to Alaska with Karen Drucker. You are going mm-hmm. to love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Well, be- oh my gosh, I can't wait. Well, before we, re- oh, I love it. I don't. Sorry, I, can't, I felt like don't interrupt her, Tony. Don't interrupt her. Before we let you go, I want to know what is one of your favorite, favorite, favorite type of. Um, readings or anything dealing with the spirituality what is one of your favorite subjects that you like to 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 deal with um oh my gosh i i don't know i think i i just love dealing with um people and i love dealing with um helping them and and love trying to help them heal and i think that's probably the thing so i don't think it's anything any one particular subject I think as long as I can do that, then for me, I'm doing the job that I'm supposed to be doing. Right. Um, I know it sounds cheesy, but it's so true. Oh, it doesn't. I mean, honestly, if you do something you love, it your life is to me is pretty much fulfilled anyway. Because, yes. Yeah, and what would you do if you weren't doing? I can't even imagine you doing anything else. I can't imagine it either. You know what? Actually, <laughs> I have to say, I would. I would be a bit of a geek. I would be a techie. Um, I would be a website designer. As we speak, I'm designing Holly's website, um, and, you know, I'm just a bit of a geek. But (laughs) it's something that I very much love. Um, I wouldn't say I'm I'm great at it, but I just enjoy (laughs) it. And maybe that's something I would do. I don't know. That is unusual because creatives and mediums are right brain, and and web design stuff is kind of left brain, right? Uh, not really. No, I think you still have to have that kind of um, that kind of uh, creative side, definitely. Because mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta you know construct something. <laughs> but yeah, it, I I don't know. I think it is a bit weird. I think I am just. You know, I just love. But that's love why we creative. love you. <laughs> I know, you're, you're the you're the UK enigma, and we love it. And speaking <laughs> of websites, uh, you have a beautiful website. I'm I so know. jealous. It is um, LisaWilliams dot com. Um, you, pretty much anything you need to know about her books, radio show, where t-shirts. she's going to be, t shirts, anything you need. It's all there, lisawilliams.com. We'll put it up on our website. It's, you know, Lisa Williams is not that hard to remember, and everybody should know who she is. And I know, and I know Eddie and I, especially even Eddie, really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to call in to us little folk over here in in Los Angeles. (laughs) And uh, I am so excited that hopefully I'll get to meet you and see you at uh, at the expo here next weekend. I hope so. And (laughs) on our way out, on our way out, I'm going to dedicate this song to you because you said when you got on the on the plane coming back from Peru, you got your 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 wine glass, and so we're going to play a little pink for you. Raise your glass, yes. And uh, but we want to thank you so much. You're you're such a joy, and and keep up the good work. And I know God God is smiling down and going, you're doing a good job, girl. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, and it's been absolutely fabulous to be on your show. Anytime, Yay. come back anytime. Open door, and I know Eddie's starting his show here in uh, April, May, and yep. uh, maybe you can come back and be a part of his show. Of course, why not? There Ooh. you go. There I you just, go, Eddie. I just. I think he just tinkled. I'm wearing my Japan's. I was ready. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll let you get out of here. So have a great one. We'll see you next weekend. Yay! Bye. 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 All right. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Raise your glass.
Go, Eddie. Oh, am I supposed to talk? Yeah, you're supposed to talk. Oh my God. Who did we just interview? Lisa Williams, internationally acclaimed psychic medium to the world. And what's her book? Her book is called The Survival of the Soul, and her first book is called Life Among the Dead. Ooh. I know. I know. All right. We'll see you on Facebook. We love Lisa. Love Lisa. Bye. <laughs>